And as the pandemic continues to take a devastating toll on the restaurant industry, it is also wiping out a lot of history. News Nation correspondent Nancy Liu is in Newhall, California, with that part of our COVID coverage tonight. Nancy. And Rob, we are inside the oldest restaurant in LA County. This is the Saugus Cafe. It dates back to 1886. But like so many restaurants all over the country, it is in a fight for survival, knowing that many historic places have already folded. Listen, good luck to you guys. Thank you so much, sir. All right. Have a great day. Take care. Merry Christmas. The takeout orders are fairly steady these days at the Saugus Cafe in Newhall, north of L.A. After health officials imposed another ban on in-person dining, pleas on social media have sparked a healthy wave of community support. Saugus was on the verge of shutting down. We're spending more than what the income is, so we kept seeing that throughout the month, so it's just... It was just like, you know, we have to prepare for it. Nancy Larimer is among the many ordering takeout here for the first time. I like to help others. I like to be there for others. And it's, this restaurant is part of our town. It has a history with it. The history dates back 133 years, and several owners have proudly kept the place going. Over the decades, the famous who have dropped in are said to include Marilyn Monroe, James Dean, and John Wayne. In 2011, Ryan Gosling sat at the counter for a scene in the movie Drive. Now it's a drive to keep the place alive. We were looking for a place to eat. I said, let's go to Sogos Cafe and help him out. All over the country, other historic restaurants are also hanging by a thread or already history, such as the famous 21 Club in New York City and the original Morton Steakhouse in Chicago. Nearby Lowry's in the historic McCormick Mansion will permanently close in two weeks. That's when the iconic Cliff House in San Francisco will also call it quits after 157 years. In Portland, Oregon, the Dan and Lewis Oyster bar is hoping to stay alive. The great grandfather of Keone Waxmuth opened the place in 1907. We were just running this thing like a well-oiled machine. Industry experts predict that well over half of all independent restaurants will not survive the pandemic. For those still kicking, community support is a make or break lifeline. If it's going like how it's going, definitely. I mean, everyone, like all day, it's just, if people are just calling, putting orders, buying merchandise, buying gift cards. I hope you can make it. Oh, of course, yeah. Thank you so much for supporting, you know. Now, the Saugus Cafe and many other restaurants have set up GoFundMe accounts to help with survival. According to the National Restaurant Association, the pandemic has closed down over 110,000 restaurants all over the country, and of those, 16% had been open for 30 years or more. Live in Newhall, California, Nancy Liu, News Nation. That is such tough news, Nancy. Thank you very much.